Average rate of change of a function. Um, this is really an example of any activity that we can reuse and it's a kind of nursery slopes type of one. So here we go, let's have a look. Um, we'll start in E activity and rather than uh, put in a, the usual num strip, we're gonna go to strip one and put in a copy of main. And um, so this is ideal because we can save a whole load of um, procedures now that we normally carry out in a main window. Right, our first job is to define the function, so we'll get the keyboard up. We could do it from the math three, uh, define f of x, here we go, f of x, uh, oh, missed a bracket up there, uh, is equal to, what is our function here, x squared minus one on x, x squared minus one divided by x, and when I tap execute, classpad says that work is done. Now, the next thing we need to do is if we're doing an average rate of change of a function, we need to know from where to where. So I'm gonna tap on this icon down here, puts a set of square brackets in, and in there, in our example, say we wanna know the change of this function as we go from 2.5 comma up to three. So those will be our beginning and end, and we'll store these values into um, variables, maybe A and B. So again, we'll put the square brackets there, tap back inside and go to the variables A and B. So A is the starting value, B is the ending, and tap execute. Um, now we need to build our function to calculate the average rate of change. So the next one is to put a fraction up and we want from the math three, we'll have F of B, F of um, variable B, close the brackets minus back to our math three f of variable b so brackets wrapped around b and downstairs oops that should have been an a let's just correct that of a and downstairs we simply want the uh, difference in the values b minus a when i tap execute the average rate of change of this function between two and a half and three has been calculated if we wanted to go from two point nine to three if i tap execute notice they both update here um we could have this in its decimal form as well if we wanted to, we could put um the action transform approx command after it so that we've got an exact value followed by um an approximate answer there so let's hide the keyboard tap resize so there's our basic um e activity with a few lines going on in it now our next step is to maybe save this or so I'll sh cross that window by tapping the cross in the corner there. We'll give this a name, maybe from the ABC tab here. This could be average, um, a average rate of change or something like that, rate of um, change. That'll do us. And then we can go file, save. Or we could pop this into another e-activity. Let's find a suitable folder here to save it in and we'll call this average um, rate of change or something like that, save. And so we've got a copy of it. Now to reuse it, we simply come back whenever we want to calculate an average rate of change, uh, open up the window, I'll hit resize and change the function. So this time maybe we're just dealing with a parabola. So there's our function and we want to find the average rate of change as x goes from eight to nine. So we'll change eight to nine. So these are the two things that are always going to be different, the function and from where to where. So once we've changed them, put the cursor on the top line, tap execute and everything updates and we've got the instant uh, calculation there of the rate of change. Now, as I say, this is an example of the sort of things that you can do um, from websites. Let's just grab one here. If you head off to charliewatson.com slash classpad and tap onto e-activities, here are a whole load of examples that you might want to have a look at. Um, things to do with vectors, lines and planes where we store a lot of vector methods all within um, main strips in e-activities and download copies of these and maybe learn how to make them from there.